Good morning, folks. Today is our proper day two in Calcutta. Yesterday we had fun and uh, we went to Botanical Gardens, the biggest banyan tree, but actually we couldn't see because it was closing. Uh, so we decided to defer it to another day. I bought this book yesterday. It's a very interesting explanation of Gita. Uh, by this gentleman, I think, who does a lot of uh, delve dive, uh, deep dive, uh, delve into um, Indian ancient literature. And um, yeah, and I bought this. I was looking for a portable type of uh, coloring, watercolor, and there's a palette. Apparently, it's uh, watertight. I'll see. Um, yeah, the person who inspired me the most in watercolor and painting is my colleague Jyoti. So she do a fantastic piece of uh, flower just sitting there while we are eating food in London when they came to visit us. And this is some kind of uh, papers you can paint. Um, and also I uh, found uh, these two books given by my two friends. This is Quran Sharif. Uh, this is all in Bengali. I wanted to read little by little and uh, this is a book I am not sure whether this is uh, somehow related to Gita or uh, probably this is more of um, uh, everything because it's talking about bliss, it's talking about enjoyment, it's talking about truth, it is talking about karma, it is talking about samadhi and all that. Okay, so these books are full with wisdom and you might not get it. I might not get it, should I say, when I read it for the first time. But the more we read, more we read. Hopefully, at some stage before I go, uh, you know, I'll be able to at least find a little bit of wisdom. And the thing about me is that I love to share because that's the way I consolidate my memory and understanding. Because... Invariably, somebody will put out a question or challenge what I understand and then I think about it. I try to defend and then find out which bit of my defense was really not holding and which bit uh, I think is reinforcing my belief. So always engage in debates um, in, in, a, in a friendly, respectful way, not to prove that I'm right and you are wrong. And this is something that um, is very, very common. We hold on to our dogmas, whatever we learned and we believe to be true will always remain true. And I don't care what you say. This is the thing. It shouldn't be like this. Because every time I put out a lot of stuff and quite often people will object to something you know, sometimes they're nice, they don't want to say something on my face, but some are uh, quite upfront and open and they will challenge my views. And then I'll say, fine, let me find out more. And then I will try to defend and they will try to defend. And finally, truth is most of the time somewhere between them and me. It is neither me is 100% right or sometimes I'm 100% wrong, to be honest. But yeah. You know what I mean. So, yeah, little joys. So, tiny stuff that um, we bought yesterday, I bought yesterday. My kids bought something else. You know, we had nice food. So, yeah, it's always uh, good to have different kind of experience because life otherwise will get very boring doing the same thing again and again. But um, I'm just listening to a lecture by Anna Lamke. Uh, she's my, like, psych guru for understanding dopamine and addiction. And she is telling that, Sometimes you need to get used to boredom. Because in modern life, there is nothing much to do. Everything is served on a platter. You don't have to hunt, gather, forage. When that comes, you can't feel depressed because you're always working. You're, you're you know, butt off and you don't have time to think. That's one good way of looking at busy life when you don't have time to feel sorry about ourselves and all that. But on the other hand... We also want to enjoy life. So this fine balance between enjoying but not staying there. That's important. We need to feel the bliss and then not stay there. Because longer you stay in the dopamine high state, the sadder you will feel after a while. So think about it. Anyway, so enjoy the bliss but don't stay there for long. 
come back to pain and discomfort and hard work and love that. Love that. I'm going running. It's quite hard to run. In Calcutta, it is so hot and humid and a lot of street dogs. Friendly, very friendly.